Well, hello, Texas. We are so happy to be here for just another week of doing what we do, uh, visiting with women in business, female entrepreneurs, leveling our ourselves up, and of course, leveling you up at home. So good morning, Wendy Morales, Michelle Hammonds. Hey, lady. <laughs> good morning, Natalie, and good morning, Texas. Good morning. We are ready and excited for another incredible show. And we're so honored to be here with you and have you here with us. Yeah. Today is going to be so much fun. We're talking all things women and girls. Yes, ladies, let's dive right in. And let me ask you a question. What has been your best investment in your business? My staff. Praise the Lord for mm -hmm. my staff. Uh, it, it brings so much value to really the purpose and the intentionality behind what, what we're building as entrepreneurs and women in business. So I would definitely say my staff investing in a team. I can't wait to hire like 50 more people. What about you, Michelle? Yes, I love that. I would have to agree with you definitely on team building team. My team is being built as well. And that is just so essential. But I think also investing in my mental health. It's so important to ask for help and know when you need to kind of take a moment and pour back into yourself so you can be what you need to be for your family, for your business, and for your community. Mm, I love that. Wendy, hop on in here, girl. What's been your best investment this year? I think you both uh, named both of them your team. Yeah. Finding the right, putting the right place in team gives you time for your mental, you know, to have good mental health. So, mm. yeah. I think you girls covered it. And let me ask you another question. How do you know when you're moving in the right direction with your business? Hmm. Well, I think profitability is your first step. And if you're you're not generating funds, you may need to reassess the way you're you're moving forward with how you're rolling. What do you say, Michelle? Yeah, I think that's a huge indicator that if you're not making profit or you're not keeping track of your monthly you know, profitability and really delegating where you need to delegate, mm -hmm. then you could potentially be losing money. And I think a lot of businesses out there might be actually losing money. Take your staff that you trust so much and ask yeah. their opinion every single month. Like, hey, I want you to write down the processes that are working good, the things that are not working, and then let's reevaluate and figure out how we can fix and move forward. Yeah, I definitely agree. That is so good. And speaking of good, that is what you can expect on our show today. We have a great lineup. And coming up next, we are talking brand. We are talking strategy with Taylor Thomas. And of course, later we talk to Stacy Adiwu of Stace in Shape. Yes, it's all about growing her fitness empire. She's worked with the best gyms, the best of the best, and you won't want to miss it. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elena Cardone, and I help women reach a heightened level of success. You can keep up with me online at www.elenacardone.com. You're watching the Connect Network TV. Motivational and inspirational daily quotes are useful for everyone. They provide wisdom and knowledge, and they inspire us to move forward. Quotes appeal to your subconscious, and they help you own your power. Keep your thoughts positive daily with the book, Harvesting Your Thoughts, Emotions, and Actions, available only on Amazon.
Connect Network. Well, welcome back, Texas. So our next guest is a lifestyle brand photographer and also a marketing strategist, which makes her business so much more interesting because when you understand marketing, your photographer will, will really get you the shots that you need to grow your business if you're really looking to level up on that end. So help me welcome to the show. We bring you the best. Here is Miss Taylor Thomas. Hey, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, we're so excited you're here you're combining the two elements of a business that really we talk about level up that'll level you up with the, mm. the imagery and just the the feeling someone gets when they go to your page that's so right capture it so i want to know what is it about brand photography and marketing that you enjoy well first of all i love this question i absolutely just love being in a place where I can just help women entrepreneurs to the tools for them to be able to show up consistently with more confidence and authentically. So it just makes me happy to be able to combine the two mm -hmm. in marketing. That's so good. And Taylor, nowadays, like everyone, including me, we all think that we're photographers. And so talk to us a little bit about the difference between hiring a professional photographer when building your brand. Well, you know, that is a great point that you've raised. I mean, not <laughs> only that everybody thinks that they're a photographer, but there are so many different styles of photography. We have a very, very robust process um, in order to make sure we're bringing out the actual brand story that's needed to be able to tell who you are, what you do, what it feels like to work with you, and um, really just what makes your brand unique. Let's talk about the types of photos that entrepreneurs need to take when promoting their brand. What should we be incorporating? What does that look like when you're actually working with someone that helps you build your business through pictures? I also love this question because ultimately when it comes to brand photography, people immediately just assume it's just headshots. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is headshot, it is included, but it's not the only type of shot. So it also includes lifestyle shot that shows more of who you are and your personality. Mm -hmm. um, also the hero shots, um, at what they like to call for websites to include. And also last but not least, your offers and products that we need to include as a part of your overall brand. So right now I'm offering a spring brand mini session that will be taking place on May 14th. Um, this is a mini session essentially is if you're not ready for a full session, but you mm -hmm. want to at least have that updated headshot, and I'm always available for full branding um, session, but this one day opportunity for the spring brand mini session is on May 14th, so definitely take advantage of that. That's right, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today, Taylor. You've been so wonderful. And for our viewers, can you please share or tell them how they can connect or book with you? Absolutely. Um, I am always on Instagram. So you can always find me on Instagram at Taylor A. Thomas Studio. And um, of course, if you want to check out more of my work and or want to inquire more about my business, you can always go to my website, which is www.taylorathomas.com. Oh, Taylor, you're so beautiful and love just all that you have shared today. Everybody, it's time to level up the brand, the photos. Hit Taylor up. She can definitely take good care of you. And coming up next, don't go anywhere. We are going to be sitting down with Stace. Yes, Stace in shape. Okay, get excited. We're going to hear all about her journey in the fitness space. And then later, oh, have you heard of Little Sister Girl? Mm. Little sister girl. Okay, let's make that plural. Your mind is literally going to be blown by this artist that is coming up. She has created something incredible. If you're a designer, if you love just beautiful things, if you have little brown babies, okay, you're going to be inspired by this no matter what race you are. This is incredible. She <laughs> is coming up next. We'll be right back. What's up? It's your girl Tisha Campbell. You will see me soon on the J Team with Miss Jojo Siwa playing a villain. Mm. And you are watching the Connect Network TV.
one executive suite is Midland's premier co-working space that meets the professional workspace needs of freelancers, travel for business, or professionals that work from home. Co-working is an inspiring working environment that saves members with its cost sharing. We also have different membership options available. High-speed internet and free parking too. One is the place to work hard and dream big. Welcome back, Texas. So our next guest is Stacy of Stace in Shape, and she is helping all types of women to get in the best shape of their lives, no matter where you are today. So help me welcome Miss Stacy Eddie Wu to the show. Hey, Hi, girl. ladies. How are you doing? Hey, Stace. Yes. Girl, your name is so good, Stace in Shape. Like, <laughs> it's so, it like flows. You get a Stay, go to stay in shape to stay in shape, man. Yes. It just like flows. Yes, I love it. Together. Yeah, so I love the name. I would love to talk about the branding behind it. And then also, what does staying in shape mean to you? Mm. Yes, absolutely. Ladies, first, I'd like to say thank you so much for having me today. I'm so excited to share more about my brand with you and my fans and everything else that I have going on. Um, I'd love to tell you a little bit about myself first, which definitely ties into how Stay in Shape came about. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been a trainer for six years now. I, you know, got fed up one summer in high school and I had my dad sign me up for Curves. I don't know if you ladies are familiar with Curves. Oh, it was yeah. all yeah. women's gym back in the day. And one summer I committed. I had my dad sign me up. I lost 15 pounds over the summer. So that's what stroked something in me. And I really wanted to find out everything I needed to know about how to effectively help others get in shape and stay in shape. That's where stay in shape came about. Mm, so nice. that's that's such a great story. And I think that um, a lot of us could relate to that. And Stacy, what I would like to know is what do you love most about health and fitness? Oh man, so many things. I love that question. It's loaded. I, I could say so much about that. Um, you know, after being in a few gyms for a few years, I took that leap of faith and started my business to make other women feel comfortable and feel like they could relate to someone that gets the weight fluctuation. I'm sure you got you ladies can relate. Mm. Our emotions are horrible. Girl. Absolutely. Well, I'm the baby, right? Right? <laughs> Yeah. Major life wow. events. It was like I, you know, I fell in love with being able to help others and realistically share the ups and downs about a fitness journey. And once you reach your goal, that's not the end. There's more work, work to be done once you get there. Wow. So you got to stay in shape. Especially if you love to eat. Let's talk about what you do. You have in-person trainings in Dallas and you are working with like an elite clientele there. I've been able yeah. to visit with you about that, but you also offer more than that. So let's talk about your service and how people can hire you, even if they're not in the Dallas area. Absolutely. So I offer many services. I have plenty of certifications. So, you know, being that I work with plenty of women, I've made sure I was pre and postnatal certified. If you are not in Dallas and you are in Miami or you are somewhere else in Texas and you would love to train with me, I do offer online training along with online programs that can be found on my website if you'd like to try to do a program on your own. Yeah. Yes. It sounds like you have it going on. Thank you. in shape. But you also have more. There is more to this. You There's also more. have a space on demand subscription. Yes. That sounds so just intriguing. I want to know all about this. What does that entail? Absolutely. This is something I've been working on for a really long time. You know, once I became even more confident in my training, I had friends from all over that wanted to train or would tell me they wish they lived in Dallas so they could train with me. So I found a way to make a subscription that offers 20 to 30 minute workouts for you on demand that you can do on your own time, as well as live workouts that I'll be hosting weekly mm. and other cool offers for those that are subscribed. Oh, and by the way, I do have a new band class coming up. It's called Bands and Beats. 
Oh. So we'll be using the band to the beat of the music with a live DJ. It'll be a 30 minute class. And the first one is going to be on May 7th. It'll be a free class. And the link to sign up will be located on my website. Nice. Stace in shape. Thank you for that. So Thank good. So much. The band, the beat, like that's everything that I need to just go be great. <laughs> show my moves. So I love it, Stace. I appreciate you so much. And we have a jam packed show. So Michelle, what do we have coming up next? Yes, we're so excited to chat with Mariah Davis about her blooming brand, Little Sister Girl. Yeah. And later we dive into help and healing with Asha Dickens. Stay tuned. All right, hello, hello, hello. I am Coach Stormy and I help women all across the country, all around the world. And you can find me at www.coachmestormy.com and you are watching the Connect Network TV. Hi, I'm Jess DeFeo, and I am a social media coach for women entrepreneurs who know they are on a mission to change the world with their business, but are struggling with how to market themselves authentically to their ideal client on social media. I can help you go from overwhelmed and confused on what to post to creating effective and impactful content that converts your followers into customers. Head to my website to grab your free course, Instagram 101 for Business, and learn the strategies I use to grow my business in just six months. All right, Texas, welcome back. Our girl Wendy had to step out for the rest of the show, but we are continuing with an amazing lineup of Boss Babes for you on your Saturday. So get excited. And this next guest, I tell you, you talk about talent, you talk about just visionary, and you talk about saving the children, and she doesn't even have any children yet. It's incredible what she's created. <laughs> Help me welcome Miss <laughs> Mariah Ellis. She is here to talk about her brand, her journey and her incredible creation you will be seeing at a store near you. Welcome to the show, Mariah. Hello. Hey. Thank you for having me today. Girl, I'm excited. <laughs> me too, Mariah. Natalie has just been telling us all about you and I could not wait to connect with you, learn more about your brand. We're so thankful you're joining us today. And for those who aren't familiar with your brand, can you tell us what Little Sister Girls is? Yes. So Little Sister Girls is a brand that I created to help foster self-love and confidence for young girls of color by providing products that will help them feel represented as well as activity books that can help facilitate that positive self-view. And I love that because you also have an albino character. So take us through these little sister girls. I want to meet every one of them, but break your characters down because not only do you have merch, you have several different products. So tell us who we have, who is, who, who are a part of this gang, little sister girls? Yes. So we have Maya. Maya is going to be our beautiful chocolate character. We have Alexis, she's going to be our biracial character that represents the curly haired girls. Um, we have Jordan, our albino character. We have Destiny with the locks. Um, locks is, a, is really popular nowadays, so I thought to incorporate that within the characters. Nice. We have um, Tiffany, she is going to be our Afro Latina character. I know that there are so many viewers at home that would love to purchase some of your products and have someone that they would love to gift it to or keep it themselves. Um, how can they shop with you today? So Little Sister Girls, you can shop it on our website, www.littlesistergirls.com. Our books are also available on amazon.com as well as walmart.com. And we also have retail partners across the country with Miha Books in California and the Black Hair Experience Museum in multiple states yes. in the country. Yes, that is so amazing. And yes, honey, she did say Walmart, okay? Uh, <laughs> Walmart, yeah, like the Walmart, she's at the Walmart. And, you know, when we were talking and prepping for the show, you were also talking about using your books and your products as tools for um, you know, maybe parents that have adopted a biracial child or adopted a, a brown or black child um, that maybe they don't know how to um, really get into deeper conversations about imaging. How, how, do, how do you hope your products are used in this way? So I created the activity books for that, that exact reason so that parents can do it aside with their children. Um, in the books, it kind of breaks down 
different features that we have from our lips to our nose to our hair texture to our skin and I think doing that alongside your young girls will kind of help them see that even though they may look different that there's still beauty in all of their differences. I love that so much I actually we adopted our son he's biracial and there have been moments when going to a private Christian school, he wasn't surrounded by people who look like him. So I just love that you've created a product and an activity book to help parents who don't know how to kind of evolve in the questions or answer the identity questions um, to really bring the reality and the truth that they're more than enough. And I don't know if you want to make a little brother boys, like one for, Girl, <laughs> one for the boys. I, I, I haven't <laughs> mentioned it. I probably <laughs> never mentioned it, but you're on to something, Michelle. The boy line will be coming out within the next few months this year. Um, I will not say the name, but you're, you're close, but I won't say the name. Of yes, man. I'm literally crying. It's girl. <laughs> amazing. Like amazing. But man, I'm just so grateful for you, Mariah. And we're Thank just so you. thankful that you came on the show. I can't wait for, for everyone to get a hold of your product. I really see this even developing into maybe a TV show or a yeah. movie. I don't know, something really special. Cartoon. So um, yeah, just dream big. I love what you've done, Mariah. And up Thank next, you. we sit down with Asha Dickens and talk about her company, October Lotus, and its mission to help and heal. And later, we wrap the show with Camille Cower, who always brings the power, <clears throat> over at the East Mod, talking about the latest entertainment. are living in challenging times and despite having a nine to five job you still find it difficult to pay your bills and have money left over to spend on experiences that brings you joy if you're at a point in your life where you know that there is more for you you want to start a side business and express your multi passions but you're not sure if your gifts or ideas can be profitable Believe in yourself and connect with us over at RaquelWalters.com and let us help you to get clear on the knowledge you have that you can monetize right away. All right, Texas, the fun continues. Welcome back. Welcome back. So I'm excited. We have an amazing guest coming up next. And women, like, listen, all the ladies in the place with Sally and Grace, <laughs> it's time to pull up. We are talking to the creator of October Lotus, and she is all about healing and really supporting women through herbal remedies. And we're going to get into some good conversation. She's here to share more about how you can incorporate that into your own life. Help me welcome Miss Asha Dickens. <laughs> hey, Asha. Hi, how are you guys doing? Hi, Asha. I'm so sorry that Wendy's not here. She had to step away, but we are so honored to have you on the show. Asha, we cannot wait to hear more about you, your journey, and October Lotus. How was it created? Hi. Well, first, let me say thank you. Thank you guys for having me. I'm really excited to chat with you all today. I've had a 12 year career in advertising when I began my brand, but ultimately October Lotus was born out of my own healing journey. So mm -hmm. in 2016, I was diagnosed with a reproductive condition called endometriosis. So mm -hmm. I went to the internet, found some holistic um, suggestions, and basically I took them. The ones that worked best for me were using herbs, basically in the form of yoni stings and drinkable herbal teas to heal what was happening in my body. Um, it ended up working and I felt so much better. I wasn't rupturing cysts anymore. And because it worked so well, I decided that I wanted to basically provide other women with that kind of support. Well, Asha, I've got to tell you, I love your bravery just in the fact that you're here, you're sharing your story. There are so many women that are going through endometriosis. You mentioned the yoni steam. I want to get into that because if you think about back in the day, like a thousand years ago, I mean, there weren't baths, so there weren't bars of soaps laying around. Women had to do something to get clean. And 
um, I think it's interesting that we're kind of going back to modern medicine for today's just opportunity at um, at healing and health. So talk a little bit about that, as I know that's one of your products. Yes, absolutely. So first off, yoni steaming is the process of boiling herbs and basically using the steam that comes from that boil as plant medicine to heal what's happening in your uterus. So once the water is boiled and the tea has formed, you sit over the pot. I actually use my toilet. You can always find a yoni steam pot. Lots of people have them. And ultimately you're sitting over the steam and allowing the herbs to work. My products cover various conditions. So endometriosis, fibroids and uterine polyps, polycystic ovarian syndrome, cramps, mm -hmm ovarian cysts in general, and then fertility support, PMS and menopause, general detoxification. And I also have a maternity line for pregnant women and for women who have just given birth. <gasps> oh my goodness. So good. I know I'm like, like getting so stirred because I feel like it's so incredible, Natalie, that we get to connect and yeah. align with women who've said yes to this like desire in their heart. I can't wait to share your products. You're also a supporter of Reiki. For those yes. who don't know what it is, can you break that down for us as well? Absolutely. So ultimately, Reiki is an energetic healing modality that promotes pain relief, relaxation, stress, and anxiety relief through light touch. I became a practitioner to help myself so that I could do Reiki on myself. But eventually, I felt called to support other women because I do feel like there are a plethora of methodologies that supported me through Reiki, diet change, exercise, herbs. And I really just want to provide that to other women so that they know if you don't feel comfortable with the traditional route, hmm. there are other routes to take. And I would have to say that I'm not against doctors and traditional medicine. I just want women to find healing and however that works for you. So you can find more details about my services on my website. And that is OctoberLotus.com. You can also book services there. But if you want a little bit more information that gets more in depth about health, you can find me on Instagram at October.Lotus or on TikTok at OctoberLotus. Mm, so good. And before we go, how's that endometriosis today? It is wonderful. I don't flare anymore. <laughs> Amazing. That is good, girl. Oh, that is my good. Goodness. We just have loved all of our guests. And up next, we wrap up this show with Camille Cower, who brings the power every single week with their weekly entertainment news at the East Five. Hey, beautiful people. It's Major Mr. This is why I love you. And you are watching The Connect Network TV. Want to be a legit party planner, but don't know how? Partypreneurs 101 is for you. A 10-week online course unlike any other. Get paid to do what you love and be your own boss. Learn more at thepartypreneurschool.com. All right, Texas, welcome back. So what just a great show today. I loved every single one of our guests. I know you at home did too. So make sure you follow them from Taylor to Asha to Mirai. Uh, so much excellence and so just many creative women that are bringing their brands to television. If you have something special you need to get on our schedule, you can register to be a guest on the show, share your brand, share your vision, share your story with everyone by registering at theconnectonline.com. Yes, we cannot wait to connect with you. That's what we do best here at the Connect Network TV. That's right. And yeah. we are leaving you with some entertainment news to kick off the new spring season with Camille Cower, who's bringing the power. What's up, girlfriend? Hey. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. Are you not ready for spring yet? I'm so ready. I'm so over winter and the dark colors. I am ready for... Pretty colors again. How's everything going with you, ladies? If you didn't know, today is two uh, very important days, national days to me. One is National Bubble Tea Day, but another important.
important day that's really big to my heart and I'm sure to a lot of people out there that are watching. It's National Military Brats Day. Aww. And I'm a military brat. I don't know if yes. you know, but I actually didn't move to America until I was about 14. But there's wow. other celebs who are also military brats. Oh. Um, Amy Adams, Reese mm. Witherspoon, Christina mm. Aguilera, Bruce Willis, Shaquille O'Neal, and Tia Tamara, oh. and Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahari. <laughs> That's funny. New films that are coming out or TV shows that are coming out in May. The big one is Marvel's Doctor Strange, The Multiverse of Madness. May 1st, there's a lot of fun series coming out. And I think one that we'll all enjoy. Please watch with me. I love that for you. So there's <laughs> that. Amazing. And then some shows that are already have a following already. People are already like planning their calendars around is mm. Naked and Afraid is back extra large on Discovery Channel. The Real Housewives of Atlanta is returning. Now this one has a little to do with my mom. Oops, this way. Mm -hmm. This one, um, this is called, it's series premieres. It's called The Staircase. Wow. It's about the man in Durham, North Carolina. He was a novelist. He wrote a lot of criminal books and so on, but he's grieving the death of his wife who fell down a staircase and oh. is accused of murdering her. Oh, I've seen that. I saw, I saw the Netflix documentary. That's a real story. Yeah, he was, no, he was my in jail mom was for a his artist. Bit. She, he bought artwork for my mom all the time. They had a beautiful, sprawling estate. Oh, yeah. Mm. And, but it, I mean, spoiler alert, I'm not telling you. So just mm. wait for the show. But it's a I'm like, tell me what and... happened. It's so good, girl. I was and... like, binge watch the Netflix series. Camille, you're so good. You bring everything. Camille Cower, honey, this is why you pull up every single weekend. You have so much <laughs> excellence. So good, so good. Camille, thank you for being with us today. And I think that's all the time we have. So follow my girls. You don't want to miss them. Wendy will be back with us next week. And you at home, make it a fabulous Saturday. We'll see you then.